Hello everybody, it's Connor from Sinity Gaming and welcome to CGN for Sunday the 20th of September. Pete's not here today, unfortunately. I've had a very busy day, so um, yeah, can't have Pete here today, I'm afraid. So yeah, CGN for this week. We've got a few big games coming out uh, on Sunday, which is today. We've got Skylanders Superchargers coming out on the Xbox One, PS4, 360, PS3, Wii U, Wii, 3DS and iOS. Don't know why you'd need it on all of those, but uh, certainly iOS. Don't know why they're releasing it on that. It just seems a waste of time, to be fair. Uh, Tuesday the 22nd, we've got some big games coming out. FIFA 16, definitely the biggest. We've got that on Xbox One, PS4, Xbox 360, PS3 and PC. Don't seem to release it on that much anymore because I remember the last few FIFA games they brought out even on PlayStation 2. So, um, yeah, they certainly cut back a bit. We've got Blood Bowl 2 on the Xbox One, PS4 and PC. And Soma, or Soma on uh, PS4, PC, Mac and Linux. Uh, on Wednesday the 23rd we've got Assault Android Cactus coming out on the PC and Mac and Linux sorry and on Friday the 25th we've got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5 uh, that's on Xbox One, PS4, Xbox 360 and PS3 and Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer coming out on the 3DS believe those two are a week later in the UK so people in the UK got a little bit longer to wait and Grand Ages Medieval on PC uh, so yeah that's all the game releases for this week sorry it was a bit rushed and um, we've only got two bits of news for you this week because uh, as I said I've been very busy and not had a lot of time to work on this so um, first of all uh, you might remember me saying a few weeks ago about the T3 Awards, which is sort of like a gadget tech awards thing. Uh, the PS4 has taken uh, one of the T3 Awards, so well done to Sony for the PlayStation 4. So for the second year running, Sony's PlayStation 4 has won the Gaming Product of the Year Award after beating rivals such as Microsoft's Xbox One. The PS4 was up against five other gaming devices, including one of its main rivals, the Xbox One, and other devices such as the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift uh, Crescent Bay. But overall, the PS4 came out on top and beat all of these devices for two consecutive years, and it was quite sorry, and it is quite possible that it could win a third year too. Um, personally, we'll have to wait and see if anything new comes out, but I reckon it stands quite a good chance. Unlike last year, the PS4 didn't win Gadget of the Year this year. Uh, however, this was instead won by the new Apple Watch, which is quite understandable, to be fair. PS4 is not the only gaming device, however, that won an award, as the Oculus Rift creator won the Outstanding Contribution of the Year, and the new Microsoft HoloLens taking the Design Innovation Award, which I think that thoroughly does deserve. So, uh, yeah, on to the last bit of news for today. Unfortunately, we don't have three. So, the Xbox One Elite controller release date announced. So, yep, uh, there's a few other things as well that they've announced about it. Uh, the release date, as well as a few extra details, were recently released for Microsoft's upcoming Elite controller for their Xbox One console. The Xbox One's Elite controller was first announced at E3 this year and is basically a more advanced and customizable alternative to the current Xbox One controller. So you've got sort of customizable thumbsticks, D-pad and some flaps that you can put on the back. Uh, where was I? The release dates in North America will be the 27th of October and the European date is expected to be around this date too. However, I think the European date still just says October, so probably going to be after America I'm guessing but uh, hopefully a similar date uh, we've also learned that there will be six different thumbsticks available at launch so yeah that's kind of cool they've already got a wide selection of thumbsticks to choose from the standalone controller here's the sort of bad part about it the standalone controller will cost 120 pounds or 150 dollars for those of you in the US However, it is also included in the Xbox One Elite bundle, which will cost £399, or 400 quid, basically. I couldn't find what that was in dollars, but um, I'm going to guess it's probably around 450 or something like that. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to stick to my current controller, if anything. That's uh, quite pricey. So, yeah, sorry this CGN's been quite rushed. Me and Peter both had really busy days. 
um, and it's not over just yet. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully we'll have better CGN next week with Pete here and more stuff and more things to talk about. So uh, yeah, hope to see you all next week. Have a good week. Bye-bye.